welcome all today in this video i am going to tell you that how you can enter any type of data in any text box without using the send keys method so for that purpose you can take the example this is my web page and i want to enter some data in my first name field and you know that how you can enter the data in the first name field uh, you simply inspect it and then you can write the xpath for this uh, element like input uh, you can use any attribute like name is there name f name id you can use any type of attribute here to create a xpath of that and then you can use the send keys method like this one so i have opened the browser here you can see enter the user registration page and then i uh, you can say find the element first name field driver dot find element i've written the xpath for that and then i'm using the send keys method and to enter the data and it is working fine and it will work fine everybody knows that but the interview question is that i am not allowed to use the send keys method so this method i am not allowed to use this send keys method to enter the data so now the question is that if we are not allowed to use the send keys method to enter the data in the text field then how we can make it possible so answer is using inner html using inner html code using javascript we can use javascript and to run the inner html code so understand that thing let me come to here you will able to see that before just going to this particular first name field just look into this school name field so in school name field you will be able to see that already by default our text is appearing in the school name field by default it is appearing here so how it is appearing here let me right click and inspect it here when you inspect it here you will find one thing that this is the html code for this school name field and it contains a attribute value you will able to see there is a value attribute so whatever text you want to enter in your text field by default that you can set in the value attribute so i want to show the let's make automation easy this text this text i want to show or enter in my text field school name by default so i have set in the value attribute and the important thing is that this value attribute is available in every input field every input field by default contains this value attribute so what trick i have done here you can see here this is my first name field you are not able to see any attribute with the name of value but actually it is available here and at run time if you want to enter some data so instead of using send keys you can directly set your desired value in the value attribute in the value attribute of this input text field because this value attribute is also available here so same thing i have used in my concept so now let me go to code so now this is the first name field this is the first name field you have used you have stored the first name field in a web element so how you can make it with the help of javascript let me show you i've commented i have commented the send keys method now i will show you then in selenium there is a class that is called javascript executor the you can say the name of the class is javascript executor so this is a interface and in this is interface i have just created i have written this line javascript executor jsc equal to driver and this concept is known as type casting so you can say javascript executor is an interface so i cannot create the object of this class but i can convert the driver object into the javascript executor type and then i call the methods so now after writing this line javascript executor i have just called the method jsc execute strip method is used to call any type of javascript any javascript code which you want to run in your selenium you can use this method so in this method i have called this code this javascript code so what is this javascript code you know that this is your first name field so first name field contains uh, attributes so many attributes are there so it contains attribute id equal to f name so in javascript how you can in javascript how you can find any element in javascript you can write a code document document means your html code document dot get element by id and here you can pass the id so this code will fetch the this will code this code will access the first name field from your html and then you are saying dot value dot value means you are accessing the value attribute and equal to pradeep means you are setting the value so it is the code is something like that 
document get element by id f name means find the f name field and dot value means in the value attribute set the value pradeep so when this code will run it will enter the pradeep without using send is method okay so now let me run this you can see it is commented so it is going to run so let me run it and you will see it is working or not so you can say it is entering the pradeep here so okay so it means somebody ask you that how you can enter the data in any text field without send keys method so answer is that html an inner html code and you can read inner html code with the help of java script executor so i've used this one java script executor uh, code document get element id dot value equal to pradeep here now i will show you that you can write this code the second line of code this execute script you can write in some other way that is actually more preferable label how it is you can write it so i commented it and you can say i have written the same code in this way so in this way you can say only the things are dynamic dynamic means here this part is actually this is the code to find the element so i have written instead of this i have written argument 0 argument 0 means at run time i will pass the parameter here so parameter will be any field suppose take the example instead of first name field you want to enter the data in the middle name field last name any text field so here at run time this argument 0 will be replaced by the web element in which you want to set the value okay so this is equivalent to argument zero and now value is always there value is here and what do you mean by argument one means whatever text you want to set in this uh, you can say in, in the text field whatever value you want to set it i'm going to pass as a second argument so here the option is that here you are doing it hard coded like finding the first name field then value equal to pradeep here i've written the code argument zero dot value equal to argument one and after a comma you can pass the parameter so first parameter will be will be replaced will replace the argument zero it means argument zero will be replaced by the first name field and what is first name field first name field is actually your web element first name web element and argument zero is the second parameter and that will be replaced by the pradeep so at run time this code will also behave something like this means argument zero means first name field dot value equal to argument one means pradeep so in this way also you can run your javascript code so let me run it And it is also working fine. I hope you have understand this important interview question properly. If you have any doubt, you can put in the comments of this video. And if you have liked it, you can click on the like button also. And for your, if you want to use my code, I will copy this whole code in the description of this video. You can copy it from there and you can use in your program. If you have not subscribed my channel till now, you can subscribe it so that you can get the notification about my all upcoming videos. Thank you.